When it comes to the fitness world, there's always a new supplement, shortcut, or secret weapon making the rounds. Over the last decade, one name has stood out again and again. Osterine. Known scientifically as MK2866, Osterine is one of the most talked about SARMS, or Selective Androgen Receptor Modulators. Unlike traditional anabolic steroids, SARMS were designed to target muscle and bone tissue specifically with the idea of producing muscle growth without the nasty side effects that steroids often bring. Sounds like a dream, right? But the truth is more complicated. Today, we're going to dive into what Osterine is, why it's so popular among men in the gym scene, what benefits users claim, what risks are hiding under the surface, and whether it's really worth the hype. What exactly is Osterine? Osterine was originally developed by a pharmaceutical company called GTX, and it wasn't meant for bodybuilders at all. Its intended purpose was to help people suffering from muscle-wasting diseases like cancer, cachexia, or osteoporosis. Think of it as a medical solution for people who were losing muscle mass and strength due to illness. Because of its selective nature, it binds to androgen receptors in muscle and bone. It was seen as a safer alternative to testosterone therapy or steroids. But like many performance-enhancing substances, it eventually caught the attention of athletes and gym-goers who saw its potential for muscle growth and fat loss. Why men are drawn to it. Here's the thing, most guys want three things out of the gym, more muscle, less fat, and faster recovery. Osterine promises all of these. Users online often report lean muscle gains of several pounds over a cycle, increased strength in compound lifts, better endurance, and even improved recovery between workouts. On top of that, Osterine doesn't require injections. It's usually taken orally in capsule or liquid form, which makes it a lot easier and less intimidating for beginners compared to traditional steroids. For men who want results without pinning needles into their bodies, that's a huge selling point. The muscle building appeal. Most stories about Osterine revolve around lean gains. Unlike bulking steroids that can leave you bloated or holding water, Osterine cycles are often marketed as clean. Guys report finishing cycles looking more vascular, tighter, and harder, like they've been cutting fat while still adding muscle. It's also popular in cutting phases because it's said to preserve muscle even in a calorie deficit. Imagine dieting down for summer or a photo shoot and not losing the muscle you've spent years building. That's the fantasy Osterine sells. But here's the catch. Now let's step back for a second. If Osterine really delivered steroid-like results without side effects, every guy in every gym would be on it, and doctors would be prescribing it worldwide. But that's not the reality. The FDA has actually warned against SARMS, including Osterine saying they pose serious safety concerns. Why? Because despite being selective, Osterine can still mess with your natural hormone balance. Studies have shown suppression of testosterone levels even after short cycles. That means once you come off, your natural testosterone production can dip, leaving you feeling drained, losing muscle, or even dealing with long-term hormonal issues if you don't recover properly. By the way, this video is sponsored by Crusader Ground Coffee. If you want a bold, rich coffee that fuels your workouts and mornings, check out their store. Support the channel and grab yours at the link below, because strong bodies deserve strong coffee. Side effects men don't talk about. Most YouTube videos and Reddit threads hype up the gains, but let's talk about the darker side. Reported side effects include suppressed testosterone, decreased libido, mood swings, liver stress, and increased risk of heart issues. Because it's not FDA approved, what you're actually getting in those bottles online can be questionable. Some products sold as Osterine turn out to be underdosed, spiked with pro-hormones, or contaminated. And unlike creatine or whey protein, there's no guarantee of purity. For men concerned about fertility, this is an especially big deal. Long-term hormone disruption can potentially impact sperm count and quality. The gray market problem. Here's where things get tricky. Osterine is not legal for human consumption. That doesn't stop supplement companies from selling it. You'll often see labels saying, for research purposes only, or not for human use, but everyone knows what's going on. These legal loopholes mean quality control is basically non-existent. So while one guy might run a cycle and get lean gains, another guy could unknowingly be swallowing something entirely different comparing it to steroids. If you ask around in gyms, many men describe Osterine as steroids light. It doesn't give the crazy mass or strength gains of testosterone or trembolone, but it also doesn't usually come with the same extreme side effects, at least in the short term. For beginners who want to dip a toe into performance enhancers, Osterine often becomes the gateway drug. But here's the reality. It's still altering your hormones and long-term studies just don't exist yet. That's what makes it so risky. You're basically experimenting on yourself. 
At the end of the day, Osterine is one of those substances that sits right in the middle of desire and danger. For men chasing fast muscle and shredded physiques, it's tempting. But for every success story, there are plenty of warning tales. Guys who tanked their testosterone, damaged their livers, or ended up on expensive post-cycle therapies just to feel normal again. The truth is, Osterine isn't magic, and it isn't risk-free. Before you even consider it, weigh whether a few months of faster gains are worth the long-term gamble with your health. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, drop your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe for more honest takes on fitness, supplements, and everything in between. Stay strong, stay smart, and I'll catch you in the next one.